What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Quick video. It's been a while. I hope everyone out there is doing well. Um, having a problem with my Defiant Motion Activated Security Light. This is the second time I've had to replace it. Now, if you're having this issue where your light goes on and that one over there on the right side is dull and you can see what it's doing, it's shot. There's no way to replace that bulb. I tried taking this off and you can see what's in there. It's not even worth messing around with, all right? Again, this is the third light. I'm gonna try it one more time. The reason I'm using the same one is I have four others around the house and you know what, I want them to match. So, went to the Home Depot, yes, picked up the last one they had. A little damage here, but that's not a problem. All right, um, let's see. What's going on? Um, it's good to be back. Some videos are going to start rolling out. I got some new stuff coming up. I got some short videos coming. I got uh, some cool little tools I picked up. A couple mailed to the house, and uh, we're going to give them reviews. So stay tuned, and uh, let's get to changing this defiant light out, all right? First thing you want to do, obviously, is turn off your power. This fixture is on a light switch in the house. So all you have to do is go inside, turn the light switch off, and the feed that comes up through the wall to give it power, it will be dead. But we're going to test it with our tester when we do take this off. So let's go, let's go turn off the light switch and get started. All right, so you want to head in, whichever light switch controls your outside, turn it off. Okay. We go outside and we test it. How you doing, Sonny? Obviously, I had it on test mode. That's why it was working before. And we are out. No power. Inside this hole, there's this, this little rubber grommet. You want to pick that out. And you want to just... Once you pick that out, grab yourself a screwdriver, Phillips head, and remove it. And this, these are very simple to change out. Once it's loosened, you're going to just literally pull this right off the wall. It comes right out. This one was stuck because it was painted on the corners, but usually when they're not painted, you pull it right out and it comes right out. So we're gonna loosen this screw here. Put the light that. We're gonna take this out here. All right. We're going to use the same bracket because the brackets are the same. Now you just want to open up your box here. I hope everybody's doing good with all the high inflation going on. It's getting a little crazy out there. I'm sure you have stories. All right, so you're going to take that off. Put that light down. And we're going to basically, if you look on here, you're going to see it says white on this side and the black on that side. So loosen these up first before you hang it up there so you have a nice hole there. Put your two wires through. All right, we're gonna get our long screw. This is the old one. Let's get the new one. We'll get the long screw in here. So we're going to take our white wire, we're going to stick it in that hole, we're going to grab our little screwdriver and we're going to tighten her up.
Okay. We're going to take our black and put it in the other hole and tighten it up. Then all you're going to do is, if you look at here, you got the two plugs that are going to go into here. All right, so you have to insert them and then you see these top, they will go up here. Sonny, watch out. I could feel you by my feet. On here, you want to bring it all the way to test because this way it turns on during the day and we could set our motion sensor and I'll show you how we do it. We'll walk around the yard and see where it picks up. And then once we're done with the test mode, we're going to bring it to how many minutes we want to set it at. And this is the sensitivity mode. You know, for when it gets dark, from uh, dusk to dark or whatever you want to call that. All right, so let's put it on test mode and let's go turn the switch. What are you doing, pal? Let's see what's going on here. Okay, still got to unscrew this thing. Well, we have power. You good, son? All right, so we have power, we know that. We just have to get these contacts to touch into here. We put it in. Let's try to tighten this up and see if the contacts will touch. It might have us a defective light. This is a live video right here. I want to find out what's going on here. It was the last one. And the box was a little jacked up. We do have power. Going to these guys. All right, so we have power. I think we have a defective light here because it is in. The power's there, and this was the last box, and it was jacked up. So that's one thing you deal with, right, Sonny, with Home Depot? What do you got in your eye? Come here. So, unfortunately, we might have to bring this one back. What do you say, Sonny? This one here, it works, but like I said in the video, that one light was out. What I want to do is I'm going to insert, I want to insert this one. See, get down, Sonny. Get down. I want to see if the if this bracket will feed the old light. If it does, then we know for sure that this new light is a piece of shit, okay? And this is one thing I really, really don't like to deal with when you're buying shit from a box store. But it is what it is. Everybody goes through it. Listen, these are live videos. If it works, it works. If it doesn't... I'll be the first one to tell you. I'm not going to alter my videos. You know what I mean? Let's put the old one on. And look, it works. Okay, so the bracket's done. The wiring's done right. That thing right there is a piece of shit. I'm sorry to say it. Okay. It's unbelievable. But it has to go back. You know, this was probably owned by someone else. They returned it. And they threw it back on the shelf. But here we go. We got the old one. We got a single light working. We got this one out again. I'm going to return this thing. Waste another hour of my day. And because this was the last one, I'm just going to order it on Amazon. I'm not going to deal with the depot right now. 
And the good thing is, if it doesn't work with Amazon, you drop it off at UPS for free. So let's put this one back on. A quick shout out to Home Depot. Or actually, wait a minute. We got to change it all. Thanks a lot, Home Depot. Let's put this in here. I got to put my old one back on. I'm not taking any parts you're not supposed to take. Always do everything right. So let me go turn off the power. This is a lesson learned right here. Put all this shit back in the box. Where's my long screw? Here's the old one with my yellow paint. My trusty yellow paint. Which, by the way, house was painted in the spring. The guys did a nice job. back in ay, 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 ay. Sonny you having a good day right on and you can see everything so let's tighten this shit up so we're just gonna kick one light for now all right that's good put this where it belongs in the shit in the trash or actually it's going back to the store yeah, look at that. Not even a year old and it's shot. They should have a refund on these, and I'm going to find out if they do. Because it's actually, that's the second one, and this would be the third one. I think it's bullshit. Within three years, i got to buy three different lights. I'm sorry it didn't work out. It was supposed to be a video on changing your defective, defiant, whatever the hell it's called. I'm losing interest in this brand. Um, but that's it. So what do we got to do now? What do we got to do now, Sonny? Oh, Sonny. What are you doing, pal? You enjoying the day? Let's put our tools back. It's very important you put your tools back, guys, when you're finished. So you're not like me looking for 18 million screwdrivers. This place is a mess. But it is what it is, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Sonny, come here, pal. Come here, bub. What are you doing? You being a good boy? All right, we'll catch you on the next one, guys.